Today, we're gonna be unboxing one of the best credit cards available, the Capital One Venture X. I'm also gonna be giving you some of my initial first impressions with the card, since at the time of recording this video, I've had it for a little over a month. Now, Capital One actually overnighted this to me through FedEx, and I didn't even have to ask. I applied for the card on a Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., and I had it in hand Friday by noon. Now, not having to wait seven business days to get your new credit card is certainly a nice touch, especially when it's a card that comes with a $395 price tag. And speaking of that $395 annual fee, that fee is gonna be the first thing to hit your card. For me, I saw the $395 charge applied to my card on January 6th, which was the same day the card was delivered to me. So Capital One certainly didn't waste any time. And for reference, my first statement period ended on January 19th, with my first due date being February 13th. Now, there's quite a few reasons I decided to get this card, but the main one was to really just improve my overall travel experiences. Since the VentureX comes with fantastic travel benefits, like primary auto rental collision damage waiver, trip cancellation and interruption, trip delay reimbursement, and lost luggage reimbursement, having these insurances simply gives me peace of mind when traveling. Plus, it comes with airport lounge access and Hertz presidential status, which are certainly nice perks to have. But also, the VentureX replaced two cards in my wallet which makes things easier to manage for me and my wife. The fact that this card's a Visa and the base earning rate is 2x miles, that means I no longer need to use my Fidelity Rewards Visa or my Costco Anywhere Visa. Now, I am still keeping those cards open since they have no annual fees, they just won't really be used going forward. And I've had nothing but good experiences with the VentureX and the Capital One app thus far. I've even set up a couple of virtual cards to pay my Easy Pass and my Home Chef subscription, and the Capital One app made this very simple to do. And you might be saying, but Josh, why aren't you using your blue cash every day for Home Chef in order to get the $15 monthly statement credit? Now, I am gonna be switching my payment method over to that card, but Capital One offers actually had $28 back, so I use my VentureX to get started with it. Also, if you have a Capital One card and you haven't checked out Capital One offers yet, they do have some really nice benefits. I actually just booked a Verbo for a New Hampshire trip later this year, and Capital One offers had an additional 5% back as a statement credit. So I'll be getting 5% back, plus the 2x miles from the base earning rate, plus this purchase is also going toward the 75,000 mile welcome offer spent. What can I say? I like a deal. But let's get into the unboxing portion of the video, if we can call it that. I mean, I feel like if I'm spending $395 on a card, it should at least come with a little bit nicer of a presentation, but Capital One simply stuffs everything in an envelope and says, here you go. So let's crack open the FedEx envelope, which we will find our generic white envelope. Envelopeception. And we'll just savagely crack this bad boy open since we haven't invested in a letter opener yet. And voila, we have a small stack of paperwork. And we can actually tell this stack of paperwork is from Capital One because it does indeed say Capital One right in the upper left-hand corner. <laughs> we do wanna ensure we didn't accidentally apply for a Credit One card, which has a very similar logo. That would be a doozy. And let's have a look-see at the cards. Boom, two cards for the price of one. This card is definitely sleek. It's a slightly speckled navy blue with a very minimalistic face. It simply has the Capital One logo in the upper right-hand corner, the EMV chip with the NFC tap next to it, and the VentureX text immediately below that. And the text and the logo on the front face of this card is actually laser etched, so you can feel a small indentation as you run your finger across it. Now, all of the sensitive information for this card is located on the back side. Here, you'll find your name, card number, expiration date, security code, blah, blah, blah. But there's actually a couple interesting things we'll find. First, there's no signature pad. Now, while signatures aren't even required for credit card purchases anymore, most credit cards still come with the strip on the back where you can sign your name. Now, of course, this prompted me to take a look at the rest of my cards. And it turns out I actually have four other cards without signature pads. The Verizon Visa, the TIV debit card, the Fidelity Rewards card, and the Target Red card. Yes, two of those are technically debit cards, but cards nonetheless. And as I continue to look at the back of this card, I noticed something I've never seen on any other card. It was a little image of a key. Now, this got me thinking, what exactly does this key unlock? Is it simply an indication of the security protocols this card uses? Does it open up the doors to Capital One branches 
businesses or Capital One cafes. I did some digging on the internet and I was really surprised at the lack of concrete information. All I really found were a few guesses from fellow credit card enthusiasts. They think maybe the key indicates that you can lock and unlock this card via the app, but honestly, that wasn't really good enough for me. Now I need to know. So I hopped onto the gram and I slid into Capital One's DMs. I said, hey, what's the dealio with this key symbol on my card? To my surprise, they actually responded really quickly. And they said this key symbol indicates that this card is eligible for a way to tap your card to verify, and that they'll be sending out additional information when this feature is fully available to use. So I'm thinking, well, that doesn't exactly answer my question. It seems kind of vague. What am I verifying? And what am I tapping my card onto in order to verify? I asked for clarification and Capital One swooped in in a matter of minutes to say that I'm actually gonna be able to take my Venture X card and tap it onto my phone with the Capital One mobile app in order to use it as a self-service two-step verification option. Now this is fantastic. One, I got the clarification that honestly, I didn't think I was gonna get and two, I now know how seriously Capital One is taking their security protocols. Now, this is the first time I'm hearing about being able to use your credit card as a type of two-factor authentication, but if you know of any other credit card issuers that are planning to implement this type of tech, do me a huge favor and drop a comment down below. Oh, and I don't know if Capital One wanted me to share this with anyone, but they told me that I'm the best part of Capital One. So I apologize to the rest of you, but it turns out that I'm the favorite. So back to business. We can clearly see this card is metal by looking at the edges here. And the rest of this initial page is just going over how to activate the card, which I ended up doing right inside the Capital One app. The next pamphlet is gonna be your terms and conditions for the rewards program. This is gonna cover a bunch of legal information regarding not only earning rewards with the VentureX, but also redeeming your rewards. Next up, we have the privacy notice, which has never actually been read by anyone in the history of mankind. This is gonna tell you how your personal information will be shared and whether you can limit the sharing of this information. And this next pamphlet is actually very important to understand. In fact, if you don't familiarize yourself with the information in this pamphlet, you could literally be costing yourself hundreds or thousands of dollars. This pamphlet is the guide to card benefits. So if you ever have a question about the various benefits this card offers, this is what you wanna whip out. It's gonna cover everything from the $800 worth of cell phone protection this card offers to the $10,000 of extended warranty protection you'll get, and even the $1 million of travel accident insurance. There are some seriously helpful benefits included with this card, but if we don't know they exist, they're simply gonna be useless to us. So if you don't hang on to any other paperwork that's included in this envelope, at least hang on to your guide to benefits. And if you already threw your copy in the garbage, you can always download the latest version from Capital One's website. Next up, we have the VentureX promotional insert, which essentially covers the primary selling points for this card. We have the 10X, 5X, 2X earning structure, the $300 annual travel credit, the 10,000 miles anniversary bonus, and the next page advertises the $100 dollar credit for TSA pre-check or global entry, as well as airport lounge access. By the way, I was talking to a friend recently and I was telling him about the VentureX and how it includes airport lounge access. He said he didn't really see the value in the inclusion of lounge access and that confused me a little bit because I do know that he travels. So I made sure to mention, you know, most lounges include complimentary food and drinks. And he's like, oh wait, I had no idea. I thought it was just a place to hang out. So I just wanted to throw that out there because if you've never been to an airport lounge, it's very possible that you simply have no idea that they usually have complimentary food and drinks, which can definitely be a big deal, especially with the crazy prices in airports. And now we have the customer agreement, which is chock full of legal jargon, which is certainly gonna make for some wonderful bedtime reading material. So when you pick this card up, you're gonna hope that you've been hitting the weights because this thing has some heft to it. In fact, let's see exactly exactly how much this card weighs in at. 17 grams, heavier than the Sapphire Reserve's 13 grams and about the same as the Platinum's 17 grams. But how does it slap? Phew, that's a 9.8 out of 10 in slap ability every day of the week. And if you're curious what cards I personally carry in my wallet, you'll definitely wanna check out this video next. Thanks for being here, peace.